Hi, and welcome to my long-term review of the Source Audio Collider Delay and Reverb pedal. I have had this pedal for almost three years now, I think, and I've used it almost daily. So yeah, I want to give my, uh, my take on this pedal. What do I like about this pedal? What do I like less about this pedal? And well, I have used this pedal mainly on synths and like piano stuff and samples, uh, not very much on uh, guitars. So that's my perspective and I have used it as a insert pedal live for my Moog subsequent and also I use it a lot as a send effects pedal in a send effects loop. So it's my main go to reverb and delay effect for my home setup. And actually this is my, uh, my second pedal. The first one was the TC Electronics Hall of Fame 2, which I did not really like. I mean, it was cheap, but I wanted something mm, different. So I bought this pedal and there's actually like five things that I like about this pedal. And well, I'm gonna let you listen to the first. So that's the first thing I like about this pedal. I mean, yeah, it's it sounds good. Um, now this is not a technical term and this may vary upon well, whether you are into some kind of reverb sound, but I really love this sound. And yeah, so that's my first point. Um, second point is that it has two independent engines. I mean, it's not a combination that you have to choose. It's like two separate engines, almost like two pedals. So I disengage the delay pedal here, where I enable it and I disable the reverb. Yeah, it's really independent with all the knobs being available for both engines. And you just select one of the engines you want to control here. Yeah, and that means one pedal, so one power adapter, one set of cables. So yeah, that's for me, that's a good point. The third thing I like about this pedal is that it both accepts and of course generates a stereo signal. Cause so you see like white and red here. And if you send something like totally panned to one side, the reverb will bounce back and create such a nice atmosphere. And also, yeah, you will hear this piano which is stereo it's coming in now and it keeps the stereo feel so I think it even widens it a bit so yeah that's something I really like about this pedal it almost feels a little bit like cheating putting it on because I mean if you would listen to the dry uh, totally dry signal right now so let me disengage both engines so yeah Yeah, it almost feels like cheating. So that's the third point I like about this pedal. Fourth point is its price point. And I mean, it's not cheap, but considering it's almost like two pedals, I think it's reasonably priced and you get a lot of, well, they say bang for buck. So I think that's true. And the fifth thing I like about this pedal is that it has presets and I really sort of quote unquote need them because I also use this pedal live and I want to be able to quickly switch between some sounds that I use so yeah I like that I also like that it has a uh, editor so maybe that's my sixth point but I consider it the same as the preset part because you can swap presets and you can dive in all the into all the settings and yeah go really deep with everything so those are the points I like about this pedal and I think there's also five things that is well it's not like bad or anything but it's maybe something you want to consider if it will fit your situation well first thing is obvious uh, it has less algorithms than you would get if you would have bought two pedals from Source Audio Collider they also have the bigger brother so to say like the Nemesis and the Jewel Ventris and if you would buy two you get more algorithms now i think they chose the most usable ones but yeah you get less 
And the second thing that is like something to consider is that you get less options. And what I mean by that is, for example, you get less uh, clock divider options. And this is one thing you have to think about before getting this pedal, because it only goes down to quarter notes, this pedal. So that means like quite fast if you use a MIDI clock sync. And at first I was really disappointed when I realized this was the case and I asked Source Audio about this and they said yeah well you have to get a bigger one like the uh, Nemesis so okay you get less you pay less right now I just do like a uh, tap tempo and it works for me but like if you are in a live situation and you constantly change tempos hmm, it's maybe not that convenient so think about that the third thing about this pedal is that it is not a very experimental pedal. So if you want granular, lo-fi, glitchy, you know, that kind of stuff, eh, it's not this pedal. There are good alternatives if you are after that, I think. Um, so that's my third point. And the fourth point is maybe the biggest problem that I have with this pedal, the only problem really. And that is relevant if you're using it in a sound effects loop like I am right now. And it means that if you disengage both engines, you will get a little bit of dry signal no matter what coming out of this pedal. And I made a separate like in-depth video about this because I talked about uh, this problem with Source Audio. So they asked me to make a video and so I did. So it will be somewhere here if you're interested. Anyhow, that's my fourth point, and yeah, I think that's the really one problem that I have with this pedal, and right now I just unplug it if I don't want to use it when I'm doing sound design or something. So yeah, okay, that's my fourth point, and the fifth one is really a little bit uh, nitpicky, and it's not the problem of this pedal, because it's a feature, and that means that it has presets, and it has two engines, but one set of knobs. So. It's quite common that the knob positions are not the current positions. Well, they have this LED and it will blink quickly when you just reach the current value, so that's neat. But I mean, if you're on the wrong engine with this knob, switch to the delay side and you want to change the mix of the reverb, yeah, I messed up more than once. It's my fault, I know, but if you want a one knob per function pedal, maybe this is not it. But I think I would still consider this my best option if I want to buy a new pedal today and I want a like dual pedal. So delay and reverb in one pedal. And I know there are quite good alternatives, but well, maybe not so much actually. I think there is this, the light blue one from Zoom, the uh, 70 CDR multi effects pedal, which also has a uh, chorus built in, and I think it's it's ridiculously cheap. So, if you're after that, wow, that's a good option. I think it sounds just a little bit less, especially the reverbs. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I chose this one. And I also selected the Moore Ocean Machine, I think that's a quite good alternative. It has two delay engines, one reverb engine, if I'm not mistaken. But I figured I really like the Collider sound, so yeah, that's the one I chose. And then we have like the more um, experimental one, the, um, the Microcosm by Hologram Electronics, which is the granular delay with some reverb pedal. I mean, it sounds fantastic, but it's, yeah, it's a different thing. I mean, the Collider is more the bread and butter reverb delay pedal. So if you're in for something like that and you want high quality sound, I think this Collider pedal is really a good option right now. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'm wishing you a very good day.